On my personal bucket list, I have a goal to walk the Camino de Santiago. This 500 mile trek begins at the base of the Pyrenees in France and ends in Santiago, Spain, and has been walked by pilgrims from all walks of life for centuries. When I first heard about it, like over a decade ago, I thought to myself, is this something black people do? Even as I know that black people do just about everything. Case in point, mountaineering legend, Sophia Dannenberg. Sophia is the first African-American and first black woman to reach the summit of Mount Everest. The product of a physician, doctor, father, whose family was from South Carolina and picked cotton, and a Japanese mother whose family were sugarcane farmers, the, outside, the outdoors was somewhere that you worked. It wasn't somewhere that you played. Yet through a series of yeses, Sophia got introduced to hiking, then rock climbing and ice climbing. And it was a very casual yes to climb Mount Rainier that sent her life in a whole new direction. So it was on May 19th, 2006, that Sophia found herself along with a Sherpa named Panudo at the base of Mount Everest. They were beginning their ascent at 11 p.m. along with about a dozen other climbers. They had been delayed because the weather was bad, but now it was on. So Sophia and Panudo uh, took turns breaking trail. So she would lead, then he would lead, then she would lead. And eventually they passed all the other climbers. And by the lack of footprints in the snow, they could tell that there was no one ahead of them either. Then about 3 a.m., they reach the balcony. The balcony sits 27,500, at, at 27,500 feet, which is solidly in the dead zone. And the dead zone is that point in the climb where the oxygen becomes so thin that the cells of the body start to die, that your thinking becomes impaired, you can have heart attacks and strokes. So it's kind of a natural resting place where climbers can decide, do I go back down or do I continue up? So Sophia and Panudo, they look down and they can't see any of the other climbers' headlights. They don't hear any voices. All they can see is like a blanket of clouds with lightning in it because it had the storm that they had just come through was still going on. So they call base camp. And base camp says, no, nope, the weather is bad. So then they look up and Sophia sees the clearest sky she has ever seen in her life. It is blanketed with twinkling stars. So they go up and at 7 a.m., which is eight hours after they started this trek, they reach the summit. And I just imagine what it must have felt like to accomplish such a physically strenuous and mentally and emotionally challenging goal. You know, I, I won't be the first African-American or first black woman to walk the Camino, but I imagine that the accomplishment will feel just as great. Thank you, Sophia Dannenberg. You are an inspiration to me. As the journey continues, we salute Sophia Dannenberg.